thought she'd pull up some more. Every week, we out here fighting with this snow. Every week, man. Look how thick that snow. Look how, look how thick it is. Look. Every week. Good thing we got automatic chains on these trucks, and we ain't gotta get out and chain up. I'm gonna show you the automatic chains. See that? Right there. Them are the automatic chains. We just flick a switch in the inside and we get the rolling. Ain't gotta worry about it. But it's my time to drive, so I gotta get out there on the road right now and hit it. I just started. He been driving through it all night, so. Pray for me, y'all. I got a long way to go. It's still coming down. I don't know if y'all can see it. I got a long way to go. But where I'm going, I don't think it's no snow there. So hopefully I ain't got to drive through it too much, too much longer. We're going to see, though. I'll let y'all know. Indianapolis. Y'all ain't got nothing on this weather right here. We don't get hit like this every week. So we need to stop complaining in Indianapolis about how much snow we be getting. And this ain't nothing. <laughs> every week, bro. Every week, bro. I'll get ready to piss this guy off real quick. <laughs> I swear I'm in the truck with the real fucking Jack Frost in this bitch. <laughs> it don't matter. Look outside. Look outside. You see that shit out there? You see that snow and ice? You see that snow and ice out there? It don't matter if it's 99 degrees or fucking below zero. This motherfucker is hot regardless. <laughs> His ass do not feel fucking <laughs> AC for nothing. <laughs>
That dashboard probably read cold as fuck. It ain't got no temperature on it. It just say cold as fuck. And he still hot. Man, he will say this motherfucker truck is burning up. <laughs> man, this guy is hell with that AC, boy. I'm back there shivering. He said it feel good in here. <laughs> Where was it hot? It's hot in the truck. Motherfucker, <laughs> <laughs> it was hot in here. Y'all see it? Y'all see the ice? Ice road trucker. <laughs> and this the real one right here. <laughs> Everything is cold in this motherfucker. Oh, he, got he got the he got the AC on the seat. The seat got heat and cool. Let me show y'all. Look at this shit. You can turn the cold on the seat. You can turn the heat on the seat. That's where it's at. Over there right now. And I can guarantee it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with the real Jack Frost, man. This motherfucker can't even enjoy his pizza. <laughs> I had to get your ass, man. I was about to like, damn, it's cold, the motherfucker. What the fuck? Open the curtain, that shit was on. <laughs> you felt it back here? Hell yeah, I felt it. <laughs> I don't know why, man. The temperature is messed up here? in this truck, huh? How'd you feel it back here? Man, I felt it blowing cold back here. Did you feel me change it? No. Man, that shit was cold and fish. It should have affected back there when I moved it up here. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, but I felt every bit of that. And then I was sitting there back here thinking, I'm like... Damn, did the temperature drop like that? Maybe the truck was just letting you know that you, 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 need, you need to cool off. Man, hell no. <laughs> hell no. It's like, yeah, this motherfucker just need to cool off. I don't see it next year, boy. He said you can see we it go, next year. We go to Burning Man, you're gonna be right at home. Yes, sir. <laughs> you gonna be in that motherfucker, I'm gonna be dying. I'm gonna be dying. Yeah, I'm gonna be right at the crib. Go to Burning Man. I'm gonna be laughing at my go to ass. Burning Man in the desert. <laughs> I'm trying to take my motherfucking skin off. <laughs> I'm gonna say, finally, some heat out this bitch. <laughs> that Josh can't change. <laughs> <laughs> Set fire out in this bitch. Hurry up. <laughs> when I'm driving, when I'm driving, I know you're back there wrapped up like a corn dog, dude. I know it. Yeah. Sometimes I do, man. Sometimes I don't feel that shit. But tonight I was like, damn. I thought the weather changed man, out there or something. I'm like, damn, it's cold. Open that curtain. That shit is on. AC. Damn. Look like Colorado that got slammed. Y'all see all this snow they got? But it worked out for us because we went a different route. See, before I used to tell Josh, because he used to look at the weather a lot, I used to tell him I didn't give a fuck about looking at the weather. And the reason why I said it is because if we look at the weather or not, we will always go the same route. And we had to go if the weather was bad or not. So. 
my thing was, man, forget looking at the weather and stressing about it all week because we're going to have to go there anyway. We're not taking no different route. So why are we going to keep looking at the weather and stressing about the weather all week long? It don't make no sense. Like, he, he stressed more about the weather than I do. You know what I'm saying? And it didn't make no sense. To me, it didn't make no sense. But now we got two different routes that we can take. It makes sense now to look at the weather and keep track of the weather because if the weather's messed up one route, we could take another route. You know what I'm saying? At first, it didn't make sense to do it. You know what I'm saying? And he would let this weather stress him out. I just didn't care. But now that we could take separate routes, I'm going to keep more... Uh, I'm going to keep better track on the weather. You know what I'm saying? Because we went 70 all the way to Reno. Then we had to come back down. Well, we took 70 and then hit. We had took 70 through Colorado to Salt Lake City. Well, we cut through on 15 on Salt Lake City. Once we got to Salt Lake City, we took 80. So we came back down 80. And if the weather was clear, we would have came back down 70 all the way here to Denver. But it didn't make no sense because 70 was getting hit with a bunch of snow. Which you can see here, that's in Denver right now because 70 is right here cutting through Denver. You know what I'm saying? So we took 80. Now if we would have took 70, I would have probably been stuck like I was last week. You know what I mean? I probably wouldn't have made it home till about Saturday. If that, because that 70 route going through the Colorado mountains is right up that way. They supposed to get snowing in on mountains all the way to Friday. But since we took 80, we went around it. It makes sense to check the weather now. At first, like I said, I didn't give a damn. Cause we was staying on the same route. We wasn't changing routes when the weather was bad. We stayed on the same one. Now that we change the routes, we can dodge the bullet like we did today. And we made it here after the snow. Now the snow was further west on 70, up in the mountains, up there, and it's gonna be there to Friday. Thank goodness for having multiple routes we could take. You did, so. Hopefully I can make it home by tomorrow, which is tomorrow's Friday, and I can have a full weekend and enjoy this uh, New Year's Eve and New Year's Day with the family. It's, New Year's Eve is my mother's birthday, man, December 31st. So happy birthday to Mom Dukes, y'all. Put happy birthday in the chat for Mom Dukes. So we're going to celebrate. We're going to eat us some fish, eat some shrimp. We're going to play games and all that stuff. And we're going to have us a good time. We're going to listen to some music. We're going to talk loud. We're going to clown. And I might end up going to one of my cousin's house later on that night because he's supposed to be doing karaoke or something. So y'all might get a lot of fun videos this weekend. All right, let's go. Movie. Every time she pull up, it's a movie.